Hi everyone, this is Misi from Misi Psych Yoga. And today we are just gonna do a little bit of everything. My favorite thing to work on is basically opening my hips. I'm really tight down there. So opening my hips, working out the hip flexors, just uh, psoas and um, things like that. So we're just gonna use our two. We might use the blocks today, but we're definitely gonna use our strap. So uh, try to get those and uh, make sure you're warmed up before you do this. And um, we're just gonna start with breath work and we're gonna start down in um, child's pose. So um, from tabletop, you just wanna, you can have your legs together, your thighs together and bring yourself back into child's pose. But I like to have mine open a little bit, at least hip distance, hip width apart. And then sink myself down. Uh, big toes touching and relax in child's pose this way. And basically you just want to take a couple of deep breaths here. Try to be present in the moment. Uh, try to relax your shoulders. Maybe you can walk your arms back a little bit and not have them squinched in. <laughs> From there, we're going to come back up to a tabletop position and we're going to do um, some cat and cows. So, exhale, bring yourself up to cow. Inhale, take a deep breath, a deep breath in. Cow, I mean, cow. Cat is up. <laughs> cow down. Again, cat. Cow. Inhale, right here you do some kundalini, um, just bring our, um, draw our shoulders up to our ears and back, just rotating both. We're going to bring ourselves up to plank and to downward facing dog. couple deep breaths and downward facing dogs. Walk your dog in short, all the way up to your hands, and grab your elbows and take um, a rag dog. Shake your heads your head back and forth, yes and no. We just want to get our body warmed up before we uh, want a little bit more stretch it out before we actually go into these more in-depth stretches. Bring your hands to your waist and stand all the way back up. Next, bring yourself out to a wide leg position, toes in, Heels back towards the back of the room. Bring your hands down. You can stretch as far as you can go. Bring your head all the way in to the into the, your triangle. And take a couple breaths here. Inhale, slowly walk yourself back up. Place your hands on your waist and exhale. From here, turn to your left side. And bring yourself into a triangle. Bring your arms above. Take a couple deep breaths here. Make sure that back leg is active. If you want to go into a more in-depth stretch, you can also take your hands to the outside of that left leg and bring your arm up. Come back in, arms parallel, and repeat on the right side. Keep that um, core tight, active. Keep that in throughout the practice. 
Bring yourself back up parallel. Bring yourself back down to a low lunge. Now protect that knee so um, you can keep the back, back left leg. Toes pointed towards the front of the room. And what you want to do is bring your pelvis down as far as you can. Bring yourself down. You want to bring yourself into a deeper stretch. Bring the arm around to lizard. Place your forearms on the ground. Make sure you keep that core tight, that core engaged. up and take pigeon. From pigeon, we're gonna use our strap, our straps. If you don't have a flexible strap, you can go ahead and just use your yoga strap. So we're gonna get a deeper stretch here in our psoads and our hip flexors. We're gonna bring this leg up, keep it pointed. Take that band, hook it toes, and pull. So what we're, the objective here is to get our toes to touch our head. But this is gonna have to be practiced every day in order to do this. As you can see, I have a long ways to go. I can definitely feel it in my hip flexors. Take a couple deep breaths. And release slowly. Bring yourself into a little back bend. Having flexible legs and a flexible core, a flexible back is going to help you get into all those yoga positions, lowered of the dance, um, standing splits, um, all those nice, fun, glamorous poses. So we're gonna have to work on this every day. Bring ourselves back up to a low lunge. And we're just gonna come around to the other side, just walk over with our hands, be careful. You will be sore after this. <laughs> Keep that core tight again, and bring those hips as far as you can to the ground. If you need your hands to guide you, go ahead and push yourself down. A couple deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the nose. And if you get too warm, go in through the nose and out through the mouth. Bring that arm around for a deeper stretch and bring your forearms onto the ground. Again, make sure you keep that core tight. Protect your knee, you can keep your feet tucked in coming towards you so most of the weight is coming towards the front of you so it, you should be fine place your hands back on the side and we're going to bring ourselves down to repeat what we did on the left side bring ourselves down to the pigeon usually for a deeper stretch in the pigeon if you can bring yourself to 90 degrees and keep your hips square to the front, the way pigeon's supposed to be, you can keep your legs like this. But I struggle, my leg further back. Now we're gonna take the strap and repeat on this side. Make sure our hips are square to the front. And pull that strap, make the gap in between as short as we can. make sure that we pull the back in as well. Take a couple deep breaths here. And slowly release. Now we're gonna bring ourselves to the front. And 
lie down. And instead of using the stretchy one, we're going to use the one that's not stretchy. <laughs> Take that strap and hook it around the leg. You can keep this leg bent if you like, but for a deeper stretch, you want to bring that leg down. So the aim is to slowly and gently pull your leg down towards you. Breath here. We're going to slowly bring it out to the right side. You might need to put that press, press your hand on your left thigh to stop your whole body from turning out to the right. Take a couple deep breaths here. Slowly bring it back. Bend your leg and repeat on the left side. Point your right toe and keep the knee or the toe flex and bring your left leg towards you. When I deep, I breathe. When I exhale, you can bring yourself, your leg deeper, closer to you. Now bring it out to the left side. Take your right hand and place it on your right leg. Stop yourself from rolling all the way to the left. deep and relaxing breaths here. The scenery of the leaves blowing in the wind is beautiful. I love practicing out here because the birds. So I never need music for the YouTube video. Slowly bring yourself back in, your left leg back in. Bend and unhook. right here, we're just going to do a reverse tabletop. Place your hands behind you, your fingertips should be pointing towards your body, and you're going to lift yourself up, exhale, inhale, and lower your head. Breathe, keep that core engaged, tight, and lower. Okay. Now we're going to use our block. I'm going to bring our legs to a diamond. Actually, my knees hurt when they're on there. I'm going to actually put my legs. ankles can be on the soft part of the mat because they usually hurt because I have to put so much weight. So if you're in a close position that's fine but if you're a little bit more advanced and deep you can just walk heel to toe out and if you're already all the way down like I am and you're looking for a deeper stretch you're going to take these blocks and place them on each ankle one on your right and one on your left. Make sure you position them where they're comfortable for you. Bring the flesh out, or all that goodness out, so you can bring yourself forward, and this allows for a deeper stretch. Now, how you wanna place your hands is up to you. Um, I usually like to grab my feet. You shouldn't grab yourself and pull yourself down 
but sometimes I do. <laughs> so maybe you can take the blocks or you can place your hands up under and just bring yourself down. So I find this more comfortable bringing your arms up under yourself and grabbing the edges of the blocks and guiding yourself down. Take a couple of deep breaths while you're in this pose. If this reminds you of Asanga, Asana, this is definitely one. The tortoise. Kind of look like a turtle. <laughs> But this pose definitely helps you bring your your foot up over your head. And that's exactly what I'm working on. So bring yourself back up. And if you want to see how deep you are, you move your box to the side. Make sure you're not leaning too further over here. That's not what you want to do. You want to keep your body straight and make sure you bend the leg first and that is straight side to side. If it's still back, you have a long way to go before you're trying to put it up over your head. But if it's side, if it's straight to the side, then you can go ahead and try it. Keep that core um, tight. That's going to balance you so you won't fall back or fall to the side and go ahead and go for it. So, I have it behind there, but I can't look up all the way, so that means my leg is going to have to do some more work to go further back so I can uh, be able to sit erect. Let's try this side. I think this is less, less flexible. <laughs> yes, it is, and it's more tighter, I feel like. And so I still need to work on this side, too. And the last one is the center. I like to um, go ahead and do the, or straddle, and then pull myself up as further as I can. So. And of course, you can go ahead and do some side to side work. side to the middle she move some of that flesh that goodness push your pelvis back and your body straight forward and this is the last stretch so just go ahead and relax in this so you can put in your hands forward and just go ahead and lay. Make sure you keep those legs. Mine go in a little bit. Try to keep them as up. Point it towards this way or the back as far as you can. Um, it's natural for them to go this way. Your pelvis literally should be kissing the floor. <laughs> Take a couple of deep breaths here and slowly walk yourself back. And that's it guys. Um, I hope this was really relaxing and I hope you you feel much open, more open now. I definitely do. And um, namaste. See you soon.